gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. But um, moving away from the anime news, we got some gaming news. So, um, GamesCon has been happening all week. Um, we got some Mortal Kombat announcements, but we're not going to speak Mortal Kombat on this episode. Shocker. But check out, we did a live stream a couple days ago. It was very Mortal Kombat heavy. We talked about the beta as well as the Mortal Kombat announcements from GamesCon. So if you want to get everything Mortal Kombat from the Blurred Mob, make sure you check out that video. It's also available on our um, audio platforms. So... I just want to talk about the highlights. Um, if you follow us on social media, specifically on X, we did uh, post some of the trailers that we received from GamesCon. Um, we got an Assassin's Creed Mirage trailer, Tekken 8, along with the release date, Cyberpunk 27, 2077, Phantom Liberty, another look at Alan Wake, and a look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So just going down the line. Um, how are we feeling about Assassin's Creed? I'm gonna play it. It's it's pre-ordered. I'm a <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm gonna play it. Like I I I don't have anything extra to add. I'm Assassin's Creed usually releases in October. And when I was a high school and a college student, I wait till Thanksgiving to play it. I'm a grown man now with a nice job with a good life work life balance. I'm playing it on day one. That's it. I don't I don't have nothing else to add. I'm playing it. <laughs> I'm go- not going to answer text on time. I'm not going to answer calls. Fook is going to have to call me. You now. <laughs> you it's going to be know. worse. Fook is going to have to call me and say, did you forget we recording today? And I'm going to say, and I'm going to come up with a lie and be like, nah, I'm just brushing my hair just to start brushing my hair the second she call. And it is what it is. I'm going to play Assassin's Creed. I- Terrible. I think, it's th- I think it still looks good. I honestly feel like they just showed something just because it's GameCon and everybody, and I mean yeah. everybody was showing stuff at GamesCon. I feel like they just put in something just to put in something, but like, mm-hmm. y'all didn't have to show nothing else. It was already secured. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, they did talk to one of the developers for Assassin's Creed J, which is supposed to be the mobile Assassin's Creed, and, and in my opinion, it didn't look that bad. It didn't look bad but it also just furthers the opinion that y'all should have put this on console. Because the way it looks, yeah. I know it would have hit on PS5 and Xbox. But it don't look bad. They actually, they're actually they actually doing something for the first time. They're allowing you to customize your, your player. Which they said, this is something, this is the first time they've done in an Assassin's Creed game. And I was like, if y'all was going to add in customization, why y'all didn't put that y'all on the console? fans of Assassin's Creed have been asking for Japan and China since the Ezio series. I will I will give them leeway and say since Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. We get in Japan, but you know what's second best to Shinobis and Ninjas? Samurai. The J commercial had the spears and I think I saw an Odachi in there. <sighs> Y'all are disrespectful. Ubisoft? Montreal, I know that's y'all the ones making it. Y'all disrespectful. The Great Wall of China? I can't explore that on my Xbox? Or maybe my PS5? I can't explore that with a console AAA budget? Yikes. I hope it fails. I hope it fails. I, got that I hope it fails so y'all can learn y'all, y'all can learn y'all listen. <laughs> Not you praying on their downfall. You say y'all got yes, y'all heated. Lord may they downfall because why <laughs> why y'all doing this? I the guy and I don't know if he was just saying this just to say this for GameCon, but the guy said he played a little bit of it. I mean he said the the controls and everything made sense for it, but I don't know, maybe it's just them testing out what Assassin's Creed would look like in a mobile platform. But honestly, like looking at the graphics and stuff, I was like, Y'all could have easily put this on console. Easily. Phones? People, people's phones are about to crash on that game. They probably trying to test it out before they come out with their own um, handheld version. Yeah. 
if we put it's one of our on major, if we put one of our major IPs on mobile, is it going to get enough traction for us to keep moving in this mobile direction? Nobody asks for that. I think they saw Pokemon get on mobile on on the phone and did Pokemon Go and think that people just all want to play mobile game. I know. No, <laughs> we ain't been playing no Super Mario Run. We played it for a month. We, played, we ain't played the I Sonic played, Run. I played yeah. Super Mario Run until they asked me to pay for it, and then I uninstalled. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We we bro, we ain't doing that. My 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 mama, yeah, she likes Bejeweled. She ain't finna play Assassin's Creed Jade. I don't know who's finna play this game, bro. I I feel like this just may be a test. Yeah. Um, if, if if they can survive in that area of gaming. It's like, can we put out a mobile game and see can if we, it do good? Right. Can we put out a mobile Assassin's Creed and can it get good traction? Yeah. If in the next four years they don't make another Assassin's Creed because they announced X and they announced Red, if within the next four to five years they don't announce, oh, we're going to bring a AAA version of Assassin's Creed in China, if they don't announce that, as huge as China is, the history of Imperial China... You know how much you can do with that? The Mongolian Wars and all this other stuff that went back in all through history when China was jumping in the wars. You tell me you like... Oh my god. Let's let's move on to the next game. Let's, <laughs> can, can we... Alright. Um, can we talk about Cyberpunk 2077? I feel like that looked good. This this think, might be the one to make me buy it. I this, think this it looked good. good. They did add some like some good. additional features and stuff to it that I they said that this is their last major update before Cyberpunk 2. And I think that some of the new features that they added in Phantom Liberty may be like a sneak peek into what they're gonna be putting in Cyberpunk 2. Remind um, me, y'all didn't play it, Ralph. You owned the game but didn't play it. What happened? I, I, I owned it, it and then I played it, and then that's when all the bugs and stuff were happening. And then when it got the new that big update happened, I didn't go back and play it. I and as a cyberpunk fan, I think the game feels good now. But alongside Phantom Liberty, they also said they overhauling the way they do the um skill systems, the way the um the way you can become a um cyber psycho because you watch Cyberpunk mm-hmm. Edge Runners Foop. Did you watch it, Ralph? Yeah. They said they're doing something so you, with the new the cyberware. It's a new feature of like the cyberware so, and stuff they were talking about. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of extra role playing elements. So essentially like currently in Cyberpunk, you just you can get all the legendary cyberware. Like my dude decked out. You can get all the rest of cyberware. But if y'all remember from the show, which is more similar to the the board game that historically is where cyberpunk originates from if you put too much especially depending on the quality you're going to go crazy so mm-hmm. now that role playing element is added in there and your cyber also depend the um determines like your armor and your strength and all that other stuff mm-hmm. they overhaul in the melee combat so now if you got a katana you like can get abilities and block that. bullets now which is cold i saw that because originally it was just hack and slash with the katanas yeah. so it's like at least with the free DLC, not I think it's coming out at the same time as Phantom Liberty. When this drop, I think y'all need to take off work for three days. Be like, I lost all the hype. I I know Ryan keep trying to go push this out my throat. I guess I'm gonna try it out. I feel like y'all should do that. Two days, just a weekend, dedicate two days to playing it. Once this is drop, because it look good. I might do a second run through with the new DLC. Honestly, they did. It just looks a good. reminder. I, I, it will drop September 26. Yeah. I've been enjoying like the additional DLCs and stuff that's been coming with Cyberpunk because people were pissed. Yeah. When that game first released. So I'm I like the fact that they're coming back from that. I like that Cyberpunk Edge Runners got the hype. Um, that all of these new features and storylines that they've been um putting out have been getting good traction. So I've I've even though they dropped the ball at the beginning, I like the Cyberpunk comeback. That they've been having. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So they finally announced the release date for Tekken Eight. Tekken Eight is dropping January twenty fourth, twenty twenty four. I guess they said we gonna let y'all have y'all fun with Mortal Kombat, but when twenty twenty four hit, it's the year of Tekken. I strategically, that's a good move. That's yeah. a good move. It's a lot of heat dropping. 
Yeah. It's a lot of heat dropping. Yeah. And they said, we're going to get y'all right after y'all made y'all money back from the Christmas spend holiday mm-hmm. spending. And we're going to come in and say, hey, we got something for you. I've, that was a good strategy. To be the first right fighting game of 2024. Amen. Great strategy. I am not mad no. at him. Yeah. And it looked good. Have y'all been seeing like the character um deep or whatever where they I like I was show? watching them before. I was yeah. I was mm-hmm. watching them before. I think they slowed down when Mortal Kombat came through. I think I my personal theory was that Tekken 8 was supposed to drop this year. And then Mortal Kombat came through and Mortal Kombat has just been going at it. They announced Mortal Kombat a month ago. And Mortal Kombat has been yeah. going at it where they was like, wait, every week. Let them have, let them have this. Let let Mortal Kombat have this. But when January comes, oh, that's us. It's up there. That's it's us. Up. It's up. That's that's my theory. Because they have been dropping character trailers every other week. Like they were doing what Mortal Kombat is doing now with the combat uh cast trailers. Like, it really felt like that Tekken was going to announce a 2023 release date anytime soon. Yeah, it like, I, I'll i be surprised if the game ain't already gold. I was like, it looks but like... The game is trailers, probably already, already ready done. to go. I, I bet the game is already <clears throat> ready to go. And it was just yes. that Mortal Kombat came through, and they were like, you know what? We're going to have a conflict of interest if we drop at the same time as Mortal Kombat. So let them play Mortal Kombat, let them do their online thing, let them have it. But when mm-hmm. January 2024 comes, that's us. When you get yeah. when y'all get bored of Mortal Kombat, when y'all finish playing online, when you've done everything that you can do in Mortal Kombat 1, here's Tekken. Come back. They'll be like, come back, come, come back, back home. home. Come back home. Here's Tekken. And where, y'all had y'all fun. And what did Thanos say? You could not live with your own failure. And where did that bring you? Back to me. <laughs> back, back to me. Like, you have fun during the winter and the fall. Now it's it's almost it's the spring it's, season. We come let on, y'all man. have Street Fighter Six mm-hmm. and Mortal Kombat One. Now come warm up with Tekken. I know it's cold mm-hmm. outside. Come warm up with Tekken. I it's know it's cold out. outside. I know it's a blizzard out there. But Tekken, yeah. if, right before Valentine's Day, get get your man some nice ladies I, or men. I'm not mad at it. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited I'm for Tekken Eight. Oh yeah. On top of that, I'm ready for Alan Wake, too. I was just about to ask you that, Ralph. I was like, we got a new look at Alan Wake. How did you feel about it? The way that they... I I will first start off by saying it was a very spine-tingling trailer. It felt like I was getting ready to go, like watch a movie. Between the live like action pieces and the game pieces, yes. I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they bringing it. Because, woo. I was having chills the entire time watching it. Bringing back all the old memories from the games and making them in between what you said, food, that live action back to how it's going to look in the game. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, we've gotten gameplay. I love the gameplay. I love the, the usage of the uh, flashlight now. I love the use of having to switch between two characters instead of just playing one. Mm-hmm. Um, the shooting mechanics have gotten better from from the first game, so <sighs> it's up. It's it's up. It's up. October twenty seventh. Do not call or text me. Hey. <laughs> he said you I'm think Ryan answering. don't answer text. <laughs> hey, look. Twenty twenty three has been that year for games. I know we've we're for we're looking forward, you know, Mortal Kombat, Alan Wake. Assassin's Creed, Spider-Man 2. I know we're looking forward, but let's go backwards for a minute. Hogwarts Legacy, Jedi Survivor, Zelda. Like, this has... Starfield's about this to drop in a year. couple weeks. It was like, this right here has been that, insane uh, for gaming. Street Fighter 6. Mm, this was a good year. Like, that year that Elden Ring came out, it was like, it was it was really just Elden Ring that year. But this mm-hmm. year, mm-hmm. we it's been, it, we done had some back to back. Didn't God then got a war come out this year, too? Or was that was last that this year? year or was it? I can't remember. I think it was last. I want to say it was last. God of War was last year. Because it was, no, because it was, remember, it was at Game Awards. It was going back to back with Elden Ring. It was okay, last so year. So that was last year. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
But but this yeah, we year, got some heat. Yes, hey. hey. I say I have to say this is one of the top, probably top five as far I, as game releases. I would next, have to but agree. Next year, top five. But but next year might we we got the rumblings from GTA. We don't know if it's late twenty twenty four or if it might be in twenty twenty five. But if yeah. we hear something, that Dragon's Dog one two coming back. Mm-hmm. CD Projekt Red, who made Cyberpunk, they've definitely been working on a new Witcher. It it, it twenty twenty four or twenty twenty five might be the year that compete too. I just say that this year has been so many different genres of games coming out. Top IPs have been coming back with a bang, and mm-hmm. it's just like the amount of um showcases that we have been getting and everything coming to a head at Gamescon. I just it's been insane. Yes. Honestly. Yes. Like everybody. Everybody has been pulling some shit out their ass. Everybody. I've so, been loving it. So like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm. My wallet already hey. hurt. Yo, <laughs> it don't matter. Hey. It's just gonna have to bear with me. It don't. It don't matter. Yeah, and and I'm gonna be honest. I was shocked at Modern Warfare Three's trailer. Usually, Call of Duty don't catch my eye, but this trailer made me go like, "Do I want to try Call of Duty for the first time in a long time?" I don't know, Ralph. I know you're the Call of Duty person. Was it like and for you or? This was one of my. I'm not ready for this because why? The whole, okay, let's restart. Let's go back to when Call of Duty said that they were going to skip a year. So this was what year has been skipped? Skip. Yes. This is suppo- next year. Okay, so next year is supposed to be Treyarch. This year specifically was supposed to be skipped. They were supposed to be getting ready for Treyarchs because they're bringing back zombies and it's supposed to be better than the last. Why the hell are they bringing zombies in this game and trying to make it pretty much an open world concept? You brought us that in Cold War. We don't want to see that again. We told y'all what we wanted as a community. We want storytelling in round based maps, bro. Like they maybe, trying to maybe they saw everybody releasing and just like, you know what? Modern War no, Battery. <laughs> no, 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 no. They noticed that they did not make the quote unquote money as it is in multiplayer. So they're trying to attach zombies and bring zombies folks back. But I'm telling you that game mode is only going to last two weeks and then it's going to be done. You're not going to hear about it no more. I, I feel bad. I, 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 I said Rob was woo. I just thought the trailer with them like coming down in the dark looked kind of cool. I, 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 I was okay, I okay, it was okay. Cool too, but let, let, me, that, let me let me let me Ralph, let me shut way, up. The way that Ralph is explaining it, they just they just put it on a show, right? Like they're just like, like, like what you think it is. Like I feel, I, I feel bad. I I should never brought it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no. I will I will say the trailer itself was nice. The trailer was good. The nostalgia that they're bringing back. That is going to be their cash cow. The fact that they're bringing back, you know, all of the OG maps from the first Call of Duties, uh, Call of, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare games, that is their bread and butter. That is what's going to be, you know, having folks buy that game. Going back to the old mini map, going back to, you know, the old school kind of guns that we used to play back in early, early days of Call of Duty, back when folks was running rampant on, 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 um, in your mics. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's going to be back to those days. So, go buy it for that reason. If you're buying it for zombies, I say don't. Wait, wait, let, let you know, all of the big zombie streamers go through it first mm-hmm. and tell you how they feel. Because you're just going in it for zombies, don't do it. If you're going in for multiplayer and the nostalgia of it, I say go ahead and do it. Okay. I was coming at it from a okay. zombie standpoint. Okay. I feel you. So, I, don't I just have to let that way. out. I have to let that out. <laughs> right. So Ryan gets his rant on Assassin's Creed and Ralph gets his rant on Call of Duty. <laughs> I guess we even now what I'm going to rant about. Uh, maybe what I need a rant. Who, who, who made you angry, fool? Maybe, maybe <laughs> I need a, piss you off? Maybe I need a rant this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. it can it's so many factors that tie in your connection, your 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 mm-hmm. internet connection. Yep. Uh, the distance from your PlayStation. Yep. How like your biggest is your internet. If you if yep. you don't have good internet at home, there's no point in buying this. Yeah. That's 